Hey folks, it's Turtle Tracks again. This is going to be the first entry for the Turtle Tracks Turtle Tracking Journal for 2010. And Bones and Mrs. Bones have come out of hibernation. And Bones, who hibernated just right over there underneath that orange flag, um, he has moved. He's all oh, about 40 or so feet southwest of his hibernation location. Let's go check out Mr. Bones and see how he's doing. Bones is down in this forest. To get to him, we're going to have to go through some pretty thick brush. But he's not that far from his location where he hibernated. He's down under this clump of vegetation, rotting leaves, and a rotting log. He's not too far from a little creek. There's a little creek flowing right down in this little drainage here. He may be on his way down to the creek to get some water after his long winter's nap. And here he is down under this log. There's Mr. Bones. Well, hello, Bones. You're looking good for uh, sleeping for six months. I'm sure by now he's had something to eat. He's probably found him a nice juicy slug or some bugs. Maybe a grub. His eyes look nice and bright, or at least that one eye I can see. You can still see some of the orange paint on his shell from last year. And uh, looks like it started to fade some, but it still helps us see him from a distance. Well, Mr. Bones, we're going to leave you alone because I don't want to disturb you too much. But from a distance, you can see the type of habitat he's using. It's an old rotting log, moss covered, so it's nice and damp underneath. It's facing to the west. You can see the sun coming through the canopy here. Helps warm it up towards the latter part of the day before bones will bed down for the night, probably in this very location. Why don't we go check on Mrs. Bones now? She's not too far away. And uh, with any luck, we'll catch her in the act of out strolling around in the forest. But uh, knowing Mrs. Bones, she'll probably be clamped up tight in her shell because she's a pretty skittish turtle. Well, I found Mrs. Bones. And she's done a little moving. She's moved maybe about 75 feet from her hibernation spot. And she's come down the hill, right over here behind me, down the hill after passing this gigantic old hemlock tree. Largest hemlock tree on the property. She's come down the hill and she is at the edge of the badminton court. It seems to me that she may be headed out uh, towards the road again, but you know, only time will tell. Let's take a look at her. She's down here in the grass. You can see her shell. I'm not going to disturb her because, well, I don't want to change her activity. So I'm going to leave her alone. And we'll see you next time on Turtle Tracks. Hey, folks. It's Frodo's tracks day 21. Frodo has come out of hibernation. He's moved about a hundred feet to the northwest and he is right down here under this log. Take a, take a look at him here. He's sitting there tucked up under the leaves and he's probably down in there because it's so un incredibly warm here. With the sun beating down on the leaf litter, it's around a hundred degrees, believe it or not. That's because the sun it's just beating down on this spot right now and the forest floor gets very little breeze down in this little cove so it just it just heats up and heats up the humidity is really low too so there's a bit of a fire danger so i'm not going to strike any matches but anyway let's check mr frodo out i need to weigh him this will be his first weight for the year so let's check him out first of all i have to just give him a good health check there he is you look great, Frodo. 
Eyes are bright, no parasites visible on your uh, on your body at all so far. You seem nice and heavy. Transmitter's still in place and obviously transmitting or I wouldn't have found you. All right, don't want to bother you too much, but take a look at him there. First look at Frodo for the year. It's amazing that he survived that incredibly cold winter deep in that snow. All right, here we go in the camera bag. Nobody likes the camera bag. Sorry there, man. I don't always use the camera bag, but thought I would this time. Oh. Hope he doesn't pee in it. 9.55. All right, Frodo, you're coming out. Sorry about that. Let's put you back. One last about a Frodo. Put him back in his form. All right, right where I got him. And that would make him 945, 935, 528 grams. All right, well, that sounds good to me. And we're going to leave him alone, let him get back to whatever he was doing over there under that log. Maybe he's foraging. Uh, right now, he's digging himself back in, trying to hide from the big scary predator who just dug him up. We'll leave him alone and go check on Catherine. Hey, folks. It's Catherine's tracks, day 71, and she has moved only, oh, about 40 feet to the west of her day 70 location. And if you look, she's right down here. Sitting here on the uh, side of this uh, southeast facing slope, catching the morning rays of the sun. And the interesting thing the interesting thing is not that she's sitting here, but that on the same hillside, not 20 feet away, is another box turtle. Let's go check it out. It may be a new turtle. Now, Catherine is right up there beside my thermometer in the leaves. And right down here is another turtle sitting here, tucked up under this little stick. As you can see, I'm going to pull this turtle out and see if it's one we've seen before. I've never, I don't know. Let's see, can we tell from here? Yes, look, there's a notch. See that little triangular, triangular shaped notch there? We've marked this turtle before. Let's pull her out and see who it is. She's not going to like this, I know. Well, hello there. Who are you? You are... You know, for, for starters, you look like a female. I think you're the same turtle that hangs out with Catherine all the time. Okay. A, C. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. A, C, P. I believe A, C, P is the same turtle that hangs out with Catherine quite a bit. I think she follows her around. Maybe she's following Catherine's scent. I don't know, but I have to go back and look in my records. If you look, there's her little form. You can see where she was tucked back in the dirt there. I'm going to put her right back. Well, you know what? I do need to weigh her first. See how? See if she's gained or lost since the last time I weighed her. All right, let's do that. Well, I weighed her, and she weighs 255 grams. I'll compare that to the last time I weighed her, and we'll see if she's changed or you know gained or lost. Um, this is just really interesting to me that this little turtle is always, every time I find her, she's near Catherine. Um, what does that mean? This is, is pretty interesting. Um, so I'm just going to keep keep an eye out for this turtle. I'd, I'd love to put a transmitter on her and just see if she sticks with Catherine. That would be so cool to do. Does she stay with Catherine everywhere she goes? Hmm. If, she, if she's heavy enough, maybe I'll do that. I just don't have another transmitter. We'll just have to see what happens. Until next time, we'll see you later on Turtle Tracks.